Okay, I wanted to give an update on what I've learned in the last week. As you can see here, I have 1 amps AC. This is my favorites F2. Um, that is my true draw of what I'm drawing electrically on the AC side. Now on the other side, I had a problem here. You can see I was saying I used 3 amps total. That is actually the draw with the inverter. The inverter is actually using 2 amps, so the 2 plus 1 is is 3 amps. So if you have a small load, your inverter alone is going to be using quite a bit on a big system. That was something that I had to say. Here on state of charge, uh, I found that's more of an amps or amp hour reading. And here on the volts, the DC 48.8 volt, uh, I have a problem here with it dropping uh, fairly quick over for my load overnight. That's due to temperature. Uh, it was about 20 degrees outside and voltage will drop in that cold temperature. Your amps not so much. So in a cold environment keep a close eye on your voltage not so much the state of charge and I know in the manual it says you know that the state of charge is the most accurate for charging. I had another problem uh, which took me quite a while to figure out um, and I'll have a video after this to show you. On this generator uh, or any generator that has an economy mode with a smart inverter, do not run it in economy mode. Um, the two seem to fight each other. Uh, it'll try to ramp up and then shut down and restart, or the process will restart. It'll drop down to zero amps on the charging and then come right back up slowly. And then it tries to give it a big, you know, big boost. And mine got up to about 15 amps, 17, something like that, and then would shut down and restart. So, as a heads up, run that thing full throttle uh, with the solar system. Do not, do not put it in economy mode. Well, there it is. I hope this saves you guys some pain. Um, being off grid, charging with just the generator. Quick startup, no professional install, learning the hard way. Till next time.